Hello everyone, welcome back. Another edition of Soggy Homestead. All right, power came on 5.30. I shut the generator off at 8.30 p.m. Went to bed early. I had a hard time sleeping all night long. So what I did here, or what we're going to do, let's, let's start with that. We're going to uh, get the generator. I got it padlocked to the hitch. That way nobody steals your generator, even though they could get much cut the chain, take it. I've had this generator since 2008. Yeah, 2008. It's a heck of a good generator. Normally starts up one, two pulls. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to unlock it and uh, wrap the chain around, put the padlock on so we keep everything together. T was on the tractor ring. I really need to make sure I have a copy on each. All right, so I got the generator somewhat sitting in here. So we're gonna strap it to. The bucket. Yeah, I know. Maybe I should have something on this bucket, but for all the more I use it. All right. Put it in there. So, back, we're going to take. <laughs> I'm going to take you guys out front to my uh, pickup truck. Okay. So, what we're going to do, kind of like a combination of both. We're going to use the tractor because we need the battery. For the fuel pump. So, we're going to get the fuel pump and we're going to pump the gas from here back into the truck. So, let me get this thing set up real quick. And at the same time, we're going to run the generator out of fuel. Why? Because it's not wise to leave fuel in a generator that doesn't get run that much. So let's get this off. This thing didn't really use that much gas, surprising enough. All right. So what we're going to do here, first, we're going to get every cable set up for positive hooked up on the battery. I've been using this method for a while. I always used to take the truck to the gas station, it holds 20 gallons of gas, and I'd bring it back and use it for all the lawnmowers and stuff. So I got it primed. The next thing we're going to do, we are going to run the generator out of gas. So let's get this thing started. Let's see where I'm at here. Okay. Uh, choke on, switch on, hold the rope. It shut off, so the bowl is clean. We're still pumping gas out. I'm going to be raising 
the back side of the generator up so we make sure we get all the gas out of the generator. As you see, I got a two by four, a little sketchy, but it's holding it up. That's gonna pump the rest of the gas back into the truck. All right, everyone. That concludes how you prepare your generator, generator to be put away after usage during a storm. So, uh, see you in the next video. Next up, got the pine straw rake on the uh, Massey Ferguson. We're gonna clean up some debris. Stay tuned.